Well, if you are a fan of The Crown, the Netflix series about the reign of Queen Elizabeth II and haven't yet started watching the final season, season six, spoiler alert. In episode five, called Will's Mania, Prince Charles takes sons William and Harry to Canada after the death of Diana. <laughs> Now, there's a moment where the royals arrive in Vancouver to screaming young women invoking William's name. And as the three actors walk into a building, you hear the dulcet tones of someone very familiar to Canadians. Charles, Prince of Wales, and his sons, Princes William and Harry, arrived in Vancouver tonight for a six-day visit to British Columbia. The three princes will make public appearances during the next two days before retreating to Whistler for a ski holiday. CTV's Colin Gray reports. That's right, our very own Lloyd Robertson, longtime CTV national news anchor. Well, we couldn't resist reaching out to Lloyd to celebrate his debut on this highly acclaimed series. Lloyd, so good to see you. Great to see you, Sandy. And, and what fun to have you show up on The Crown. I was watching at home and I had no idea, so when I saw you, I got so excited. I have to ask you, how did the cameo come about? Well, I should tell you, Sandy, that I had no idea it was going to be on that night either. Uh, about uh, more than a year ago, uh, a nice young woman you know from the CTV News and Reference Library called me and said, I've had this call from a company that uh, films The Crown, and they may want to use a clip from your newscast. Are you okay with that? And I said, sure. And she said, now, this is very much a maybe situation. They may use it, they may not. So given that condition... I completely forgot about it, put it in the back of my head, and it wasn't until, and I'd been watching The Crown, right. along with Nancy here, but I hadn't started that last chapter. So I'm getting my phone lighting up last <laughs> Thursday night. All sorts of people saying, you're on The Crown, you're on The Crown. My daughter's got more emails than I did, actually. So uh, there you are, here I was in the middle of it all of a sudden, and when I saw it, I have to say that it was a bit of a letdown for me because I, too, would like to have seen it first time. Uh, I, I looked at it and I said, well, that's kind of interesting, but it's not like seeing it in a surprise format as I would have seen it along with all the other people. Yeah, you, you know what, Lloyd? You remember years ago I interviewed Justin Bieber for a, a CTV W5 special, and at the time he said... Innocently enough, because he was very, very young, that he was the most famous person coming out of Stratford. I would say that changes now, Lloyd, because of this appearance. Agree? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Justin has grown up a bit, Sandy. He's matured. He, um, no, he's married now. He has uh, had some health issues, I understand. So I don't think he'd be that smart-mouthed if you asked him again. But it's nice to know uh, that people in Germany... Because I believe he said to you, nobody knows him in Germany. In Germany, they now, though, know that there is somebody else on television in Canada other than Justin Bieber. And we know who it is, don't we? Oh, Lloyd, so good to see you. Thanks so much. This has been fun. Be well. Thank you. Thanks, Sandy.